I define leadership as the ability to cause people to go on a journey. And it is the ability to define the task, define the direction, build teams and develop people to working together and to motivate and inspire the individual. What is it that makes that person acceptable as a leader? Leaders are born in the sense that there's a certain potential for leading and some people have it more than others, just like music. But no musician becomes a great musician without learning theory and practice. And this is true of leadership. It's a combination of your natural talent and learning the principles of leadership and practicing them. Is everybody a leader? It's a difficult question because you may be tempted to expand the meaning of leadership too far. We're all leading our own lives. We all have decisions to make, directions to determine. But not everybody is comfortable in the role of um, being in charge of other people with a common task to achieve. Leaders tend to possess or exemplify the qualities expected or required in their working groups. People think that sometimes leadership is about popularity. It's not that. The key objective for leaders is respect, mutual respect. And without trust, there is no respect. If I could give you three top tips to take away, the first one would be a greater awareness at work of the interaction of the three areas of task, team and individual. What's going on in groups? Having that, your antennae out and not thinking only in terms of task, but the relation of people to the task and to each other. I think the second takeaway point is to become more sensitive to knowing what function is required at a given time, knowing that a group needs this and not that. And thirdly, skill, because there's a right way to perform a function and there's a wrong way. And that takes a lifetime to learn, but at least you can start as a result of today.